There's something enchanting about witnessing an NBA player return to his former team. It evokes an immediate rush of nostalgia when you see a player donning the jersey he once proudly wore. It transports you back to the time when he first sported those colors. However, this rekindling must have a logical basis, as NBA teams are not in the business of crafting heartwarming narratives purely for the sake of nostalgia. There must be a substantial reason behind reuniting with the player. Nevertheless, when the stars align, it creates a heartwarming story for fans to cherish. Could the Los Angeles Lakers potentially re-establish connections with former players? Well, that depends on the Lakers' current needs. They might benefit from a guard who can independently create scoring opportunities. While D'Angelo Russell is a solid player, he leans more towards being a playmaker. What the Lakers require is a guard with a sharper scoring instinct. How about Jordan Clarkson from the Utah Jazz? The proposed trade would have the Utah Jazz receive F. Roy Hakimura and G. F. Cam Reddish, while the Los Angeles Lakers would acquire G. Jordan Clarkson. However, it's worth noting that Lakers fans who have been with the team for a long time may not hold Clarkson's era in high romantic regard. The Lakers have largely enjoyed a storied history, arguably being the most successful organization in the annals of the NBA. Clarkson's time with the team coincided with a rather bleak period. Nevertheless, it's not fair to blame this on Clarkson. As a second-round pick, he wasn't expected to make a significant impact in the NBA. He's a scorer who doesn't possess a particularly remarkable athletic profile. Yet, against all odds, Clarkson defied expectations and made a name for himself with the Lakers, standing as one of the finest guards ever selected in the second round of the NBA draft. Despite his success, the Lakers eventually traded him away, illustrating the harsh realities of NBA business. However, the question remains, should the Lakers consider bringing him back? Absolutely. The Lakers are in desperate need of a guard who can create offense independently, and Clarkson fits the bill as a prolific scorer. Clarkson has also improved his playmaking abilities since his time in LA, adding another dimension to his game. Still, the Lakers already have an abundance of playmakers, what they truly lack is a reliable scorer, which is precisely what they would gain by reuniting with Clarkson. Of course, timing could play a crucial role in this potential deal. The Lakers recently extended Rui Hakimura, making him subject to trade restrictions. If Hakimura has a breakout season, the Lakers might prefer to hold on to this promising athletic wing. However, if the team feels the need for a scoring boost, reuniting with Clarkson would be a sensible move. Now, let's consider the perspective of the Utah Jazz and why they might consider this trade. You might wonder how many young power forwards the Jazz can accommodate or why they would want Hakimura if he isn't flourishing with the Lakers. While the Jazz indeed possess talent, they might not be on the path to contend for an NBA title. If they find themselves falling short of expectations by the trade deadline, they might decide to shed Clarkson's contract. In such a scenario, infusing the team with youthful talent like Hakimura could be a strategic move. If facilitating Clarkson's reunion with the Lakers becomes part of the deal, it shouldn't pose a significant issue for the Jazz and here's the channel's tip, study financial education and have a better quality of life, in the financial market, studying bonds and shares real estate investment trust, with responsibility for passive income, operating in the best investment brokerages in the world.